How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Do you own a chainsaw? If so, you've got to watch this. Let's talk about a guy named Kenny Finley from Kansas and his company Sawhall. You can go to his website www.sawhall.com and look at the products he offers and I'll put the link in the description below. But this guy has come up with 100% American made product that is simple and it's effective. You know, he, he, he came up with a product that if you carry a chainsaw on any application, it's going to make your life easier. So what you can put it on a tractor, you can put it on ATV, a UTV, a trailer, uh, the bed of a truck. You can put it on multiple places and he has adapter kits that he's come. He's put a lot of thought into this product and he's put a lot of thought in it because he wants to help you protect your investment. And, uh, you know, when you're looking at products to purchase for a long term type investment, you know, you look at the, the quality of the product and then you look at the customer service that's, that's available with the product. And so when you go to saw hall, you get both of them. I mean, this product is, is superior. It's, uh, it's well-made, it's well-built, it's 100% American, and Kenny Finley's customer service is through the charts. I mean, it's, it's through the roof, you know, it's off the charts, or however that saying goes. So anyway, but he's such a good dude. That's why I was inclined to buy this product because he meshes the two together, quality product, quality customer service. So let's talk about the actual saw hall itself. The scabbard here is, uh, fits a 20 inch bar, up to 20 inch bar. And so it's made out of injected molded plastic and it's UV resistant. And so if you, if you leave your tractor out, you know, in the sun all day, it's not going to fade. It's not going to warp or anything like that. And so it's a, it's a solid, heavy grade plastic. And on the bottom, I don't know if you can see this or not, but on the bottom you have weep holes. All right, and so what's that, what that is going to do for you is if your bar leaks or if you, act, if you get water, maybe it's raining while you're on the job site or something like that, that water or that oil will escape from there and it won't pull on the bottom. So that's a nice feature to have. This scabbard is actually removable from the bracket that we're going to talk about in a minute so that you can carry it and now, now it's protecting you from the chain and, and your clothing and things like that from the chain as you're carrying your chainsaw so a lot of thought into the scabbard how much you know how much how much more better can it get as they say so anyway so that's the scabbard and if you have a chain uh that's or i'm sorry if you have a bar that's greater than 20 inches you can simply cut the bottom of it off and that bar will hang through the the scabbard there quality product there solid all right so the bracket, this is the bracket. And let me show you, let's get up close and show you the construction of the bracket. Let's talk about the mounting bracket for a sec. This thing is solid. It's 100% uh, American made metal and it's thick, nice thick metal. And the welds, can you see the welds that are there? You can tell that, you know, they put a lot of a lot of solid features into just the mounting bracket itself. You're not that thing's not going to break, and it's not going to corrode. It's not going to resist, or it's, it's very rust resistant, so it's not going to corrode. Depending on your application, that will determine what mounting hardware you're going to use. I personally am going to put it on my tractor, <clears throat> so I have the vertical post that the front end loader sets on. I will actually show you how to install it here in just a second. So it comes with the big square U bolt. I get the nylon locking nuts and then the bolts that are associated with it. If you're going to put it on the tractor front end loader like I, I'm going to do, you're going to need a three quarter inch socket, you're going to need a nine sixteenths wrench, and you're going to need a seven thirty seconds hex head driver. And that will help you put the, and that's all you're going to need to put on uh, the saw haul onto your tractor. To mount the bracket that the scabbard is going to go through and your chainsaw is going to set on to the flat bar that's going to be mounted onto my front end loader arm you just simply have to push it put it together and the bolts go into this countersunk portion of the flat the flat bracket so that it's nice 
and smooth across the back. It's not going to rub against your thing, your uh, front end loader. And then you're going to take your 9 16 nuts and place them onto the bolts. If you're going to attach it like I am to the front end loader. You take your square U bolt, simply place it around here, and place your mounting bracket onto the front end loader. Put the nuts on it to secure it. Again, these are nylon threaded nuts. So we'll run these down. And let me put this one on. Let me start this one a little straight here. So we'll tighten this up. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Again, you can see there's going to be no interference from the arm, but we'll show, we'll give a demonstration of the the arms going up and down, and I'll show you some more clearance uh, how this thing clears everything it needs to clear. Let's tighten this down. Once the chainsaw is into the saw hall mounting bracket, you have some flexibility here. That's that's by design. The solid welded construction will handle all that flexibility. You can also see how that it is uh, offset of your front end loader. And you can see there's probably four inches here. So as the arm travels up and down, there's no risk of it hitting your chainsaw. And let's take a look at the scabbard. The scabbard, again, this is a 20 inch bar on my chainsaw and that's what it's designed for. It has no issues with the front tire. You can also see the cylinder for your front end loader. It is uh, no issues pivoting back and forth there. The uh, pin is behind the scabbard, but I mean, if you're gonna take your front end loader off, you're gonna have this off anyway. So uh, it's super simple, super effective. Now let's see what it does when we raise the front end loader and, and take it down the road a little bit.
Thanks a lot for watching the video. I looked around for a lot of ways to carry my chainsaw with me when I was on my tractor and saw haul is the best solution. I highly recommend you go to sawhaul.com, check out his products there. There's going to be a picture of the barn pop up here. You can click on that to subscribe to our channel. You can click the little notification bell. You know, that helps support us and we would appreciate all the support we can get. You can also go to Instagram and follow us at Hamiltonville Farm and like our Facebook page, Hamiltonville Farm. We have a lot of fun stuff that goes on over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time.